book tag. This tag was created by Kat over at Cattytastic, and I'll leave the link to her video and her channel down below. This tag has been around for a few months, but I don't really care because I love Disney. So, let's do this. I'm excited. Let's go. The Little Mermaid, a character that is out of their element. A fish out of water, if you will. For this, I chose Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. She was just going about her life in Kansas, and then all of a sudden, she's in a completely different world, and all she wants to do is go home. Cinderella, a character that goes through a major transformation. For this, I chose Kath from Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. In the beginning of this book, Kath is kind of shy, she's unsure of herself, not very confident, but by the end of the book, she's much more confident and she's ready to take on the world. Or at least the rest of her college career. Snow White. Choose a book with an eclectic cast of characters. For this, I chose The Series of Unfortunate Events by Lem Lee Snicket. I don't actually own these books, but I loved them growing up and it just seemed like each book had more unique characters than the one before it. And come on, I mean, Count Olaf. He's a goon, for sure. He's just amazing. The Lion King. A character that had something traumatic happen to them in their childhood. This was a no-brainer. Come on, guys. I obviously chose Harry Potter. How can you get any more tragic than this? Losing both your parents and then having to live with other relatives that you've never even met in a cupboard under some stairs? It's not right. Sleeping Beauty. A book or a series that puts you to sleep. Beauty and the Beast. A beast of a book. A big book. One that intimidated you at first, but after reading it you found the story to be beautiful. I chose A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. I don't own this book yet, but it's currently in the mail, en route to my house, all the way from the UK, so that's pretty exciting. But I feel like I talk about this book a lot on my channel, and I should probably stop, except I won't because I love it. But this book wasn't necessarily a large book, but it was the first adult book that I remember reading, and I was nervous that I wouldn't like it because I hadn't read anything like it before and I fell in love with that book and the series and now it's one of my favorite series so if you haven't read A Discovery of Witches definitely definitely check it out and then let me know what you thought of it. I added this next one because it's my favorite Disney movie and I just couldn't do the Disney book tag without including it so this is Tangled. Choose a book that you waited a long time to read and when you finally read it it turned out to be better than you expected it to be. For this I chose The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. You can't tell because I don't have the dust cover but there you go. The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. I waited a while to read this because of some circumstances that were happening in my life around the time this was published. I felt like it might cut a little too close to home and when I finally read it, it was so much better than I thought it would be. I love John Green, but this was just beautifully written and I'm just at a loss for words over this book and I know that's how most people felt as well. Mulan, a character that pretends to be someone that they aren't. For this I chose The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I had to give this book back to the library so I don't have a physical copy. I don't want to give too much away, but Mayor Barrow is forced to pretend to be a completely different person, someone she definitely is not, and things get crazy. And finally, Toy Story. Characters that you wish would just come to life. I mean... Do I really have to say it? Alright guys, that was the Disney book tag. I had so much fun making this. I love anything that has to do with Disney. 
I did tag a couple people down in the description, but if I didn't tag you and you want to do this, please do it and let me know what your answers were for these questions down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!